This tutorial will go over MIDI latency in Band of the Box. What is MIDI latency? Here is a quick demonstration. I am clicking on the piano in Band of the Box just as if it were a real keyboard or synthesizer. When the key is pressed, a sound is heard. But if I was experiencing MIDI latency, then it would be more like this. Notice how the sound arrives sometime after the key is pressed? The sound is late, hence the word latency. This can make playing or recording a song very difficult, and also not very fun. So why is this happening? To find out, let's take a look at what is actually producing the sound. Band of the Box is not producing the sound. Rather, it is just sending MIDI instructions to a synthesizer of your choice. This choice is made in the MIDI driver setup window which is opened by clicking on Opt, then clicking on MIDI Audio Driver Setup. This column in the middle, MIDI Output Driver, shows the list of available synthesizers. Whether you want to use a hardware or software synthesizer, this is where you choose it. The one I have chosen here is the Roland VSC, or Virtual Sound Canvas, which is a software synthesizer. Now, the Roland VSC is an example of a slow software synthesizer. That means it takes about half a second to produce the sound instructed by Band in the Box. So this is the cause of the latency I'm having trouble with. If you look at your MIDI driver setup, you probably have this option available. The Microsoft GS Wavetable SW Synth. This one is faster than the Roland VSC, but is still too slow on some computers. Now, if you have a hardware synthesizer, this will be your best option and you should select it here. Usually people prefer the sound of their hardware synths, and they produce sound instantly since they are designed to be used for live performances or whatever. If you don't have a hardware synth, then there is another option that requires a bit of setup. You will need a DXI or VSTI synthesizer and an ASIO audio driver. Both of these things need to be installed on your system before Bandabox can use them. However, it is very likely that you may already have them installed. I will go over both of these separately. In this part of the tutorial, we will go over setting up a DXI synthesizer in Band in the Box. Note that the setup is exactly the same for VSTI synthesizers, but in this example I will be using a DXI synthesizer. The first thing that you must do is check the box that says Use VST slash DXI synth. Checking this will open a new window. If not, just uncheck it and check it again. In this window, you need to select the DXI or VSTI synth by clicking on the first drop down menu beneath the word plugin. This list shows the DXI synths that are currently installed. Usually, you should see this Coyote WT option because it is included with Band of the Box. This is the one I will select. Once you have selected a DXI synth, just close this window by clicking on the X button. Now Band in the Box will use this Coyote Wavetable DXI synthesizer instead of the driver selected here. This might perform with low enough latency, but usually a DXI synth is going to perform best using an ASIO audio driver. In this part of the tutorial, we will go over setting up an ASIO audio driver in Band in the Box. First, click on the Audio Settings button to open the main Audio Settings window. The next step is to choose the audio driver type. There are two types of audio driver that Bandabox can use, MME and ASIO. MME will always be selected by default. Note that if you're not having any trouble with latency, it is best to just keep this setting because MME is always stable and will guarantee smooth audio playback. However, if you are having trouble with latency, then choose ASIO. This opens a new window where you need to select a specific ASIO driver. On my screen, there is only one choice, so that is simple. If you have more than one option here, then you could have multiple sound cards or audio interfaces, in which case you should select the one that belongs to the sound card you wish to use. 
if you have no devices listed here, then you need to install an ASIO driver before you can select it in this window. If you have an audio interface, it most likely came with a special ASIO driver that would work best with it. The device might have included a CD or DVD for installing the driver. If not, then it is worth looking up the device on the internet, and the company that made it probably has a website where you can download the driver. If you don't have a special external audio interface, and are just using the computer's internal sound card, then we recommend that you download and install the free ASIO for All driver. As the name implies, it is a free audio driver that works with most, if not all, sound cards. This happens to be the ASIO driver I have installed on this computer, so I will select it. After selecting the driver, you might need to select a specific output port, although usually the default port that is selected is the one that your speakers or headphones are connected to. One more thing you will need to do in this window is to make sure that ASIO Always On is checked. This will allow you to use a DXI or VSTI synth while Banabox is not playing. Once you have done that, just click OK and click OK again. Now as these buttons indicate, I am using the Coyote WT DXI synth and the ASIO audio driver. Now just click OK to get out of this window. The message here is just letting me know that this latency setting is not used when using an ASIO driver. You don't have to worry about this, so just click OK. It is a good idea to exit and reopen Band in the Box after making big changes to your audio settings. So I am going to click on the File menu, then Exit. So I have reopened Band in the Box, and when I click on the piano, I can hear the sound play back instantly.